Welcome back to The Restaurant Show. We are chatting with Deneen, who is one of the fabulous owners of Gooseberry on the Square. Thanks so much for being here. You're welcome. Glad to be here. All right. I'm excited. I always love to learn something new, and you may be surprised to know that I don't know what lemon curd is. So. What are we doing Well, we're going to learn something new. Today, yeah. we're going to use it in application as a filling in a cake. Okay. But you can do a lot of different things with it um, that I'll describe later. Okay. But. So it can be a filling. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like so it. What are we on doing? On the stove, so far, I've already started melting some butter with sugar and lemon juice. Mm -hmm. So it's already melted. And then in a bowl, you're going to combine sugar okay. and egg yolks. This is what Whoa. it's going to make. <laughs> Just the yolks. Nice and okay. uh, so what filling. makes it a curd? Do you know? Like, obviously there's lemon. Mm -hmm. Is the curd a filling word? Is it yolks? Or do you not know either? Maybe we can not know together. We can not know together. Okay. How about that? I like no. that. <laughs> um, so that's interesting. Okay, so you mix them together. Now, how do you, what's your method of yolk separation? Do you have a specific method you use? Not really specific. I just crack the egg and mm -hmm. then twist. Crack and, and twist. Yep. That is a specific method. I like it. Save the Sounds yolks, like a save dance. the whites. Save the whites because they can be used in a lot of baking stuff. There you go. Stuff, so. Yeah. All right. Great. So once that's all combined, then you're going to add a little bit of your sugar, lemon juice, and okay. butter mixture. Okay. So you have preheated that, obviously. I have. So that's and sugar, lemon juice, and butter combined. Come to a boil. And then you're going to add everything right back in the pot. Okay. This is quite the science. You've got two mixtures, then together, then together over here. It's a lot Let's of action get everything. for this lemon <laughs> curd. Okay. And are you then, using a specific kind of butter? I use unsalted butter. Okay. But you can use salted okay. if you want a little more. Okay. And then so you're going to have this mixture come to a boil. Okay. So, we'll so leave that while one for we're a doing that, this is the part we're going to decorate the forward to. <laughs> Not that I wasn't excited about the curd, but. Cake decorating, yeah. I'm sure, We're gonna is do an a simple art form. Rose. Okay, so show us how it's done. So now, is there a lemon curd inside this cake? There or? is. There's okay. three layers of cake and two layers of filling. Fabulous. I'm going to move this over here just for a moment. So what I've got is I a simple rose tip. Okay. And a rose flower nail. All right. And you're going to put the larger portion of the tip on the bottom. Okay. And kind of twist it while you're doing it and make a cone. Oh, so neat. There's the center of uh -huh. it. And then you're going to do a couple different motions um, up and over. And okay. then you're going to overlap the next one oh, up and over. Oh, I see. And then all at the same time, you're twisting the nail. Okay. Now, roses are also in odd numbers for the leaves. Ah. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. And there's the Beautiful. Nail. That looks so, you made that look so easy. To get easy. that off, I slide under the palette knife uh -huh. and then just kind of put it where you Carefully want. Carefully plop it in there. And clean it off. I just really like this tool too. I was telling Deneen before we started, it looks like an eighth of a spatula. Mm -hmm. It's just a little baby one. It's cute. Do you want to try? Okay, yes, and I would love I'm going to. to stir okay. this. So, this will be humorous, I have a <laughs> feeling. But I'm excited to learn. Okay, I've never done this. Does it matter which side goes down? The big side down? The big side down. Okay. Yep. Oh boy. I need a cheat sheet. I'm gonna look at yours again. Okay, see if I can. And then you're gonna make a cone in the middle. Okay, cone in the middle. Oh boy. My cone's falling over. But it's cute. Yeah, that okay. Works. That works. All right. And then I'm gonna make some petals sort of going off of my cone. Perfect. Mm. And then you're gonna overlap. Overlap. Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm doing okay. You probably have room for a couple more. E one more, maybe one, two more. Let's do that. And then when you start, you're gonna okay. start on this side. And okay. Go over. And then do big ones. Okay, yeah. now I need odd numbers. I'm learning. And if you do, even that's fine. <laughs> well, I wanna be accurate. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, this it's is actually really, good. really exciting because I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. A lot better than my very first one. Not too bad. When do I start? Where do I clock in? So now keep ha -ha. <laughs> Now let's do see. Do you want to try and transfer it? I'm going to try and transfer it. But now next to yours, it doesn't look as good. But over here on its own, it looks pretty good. <laughs> you put okay. it wherever you want. So, oh, boy. oh, here's where it all goes haywire. And then I use the tip of the nail to kind of slide okay. it off. Okay, let's see. 
I'm gonna put it way over here, far away from your good looking <laughs> one. Oh, I did pretty good, I'm excited. Yeah, that's not too that bad. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then we've got green for the leaf tip. Oh, okay. And all I do are add a couple leaves. It's funny because leaves add and oh, make anything look great. good. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can really mess up that flower. <laughs> add a few leaves, you're fine. I love it. That's so fun. So there's that. Beautiful. Look at that cake. Oh, you've got more. And then we'll just colorful. do. Colorful. Oh, spring. So nice and springy. Cute. So do you have to learn a specific, do you learn to write on cakes? Because some people just are so good at this, like you are, and then there's others that can't do it at all. It's you know what, spring. it takes practice. It's I'll got to, but I can't make letters like that. <laughs> and I'm not gonna try, but that looks awesome. Okay. Oh, thank you. So we get to have a piece now? Sure can, and right. while you cut that, this has actually come to a boil. Okay. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit. You see how ready I am to eat this cake. <laughs> I want to eat this flour. I'm pre feeling pretty good about it. Okay. And then once it comes to a boil, you want to add the rest of your butter. Okay. And this is going to thicken everything up. And then once this comes all to a melt, you're going to pour it into a large shallow pan. Uh huh. Can I use this little little guy you to sure get the can. cake? Okay. We have a lot happening here. It's all good because <laughs> it's all sweet. Love our sweets. And Gooseberry on the Square has awesome food, by the way. Um, all kinds of great things like burgers, Taco Thursday. Is mm -hmm. it Thursday? Taco Bar Thursdays. Taco Bar Thursdays. It's only $6.99 a pound, so it's pretty incredible. good for downtown. That's awesome. $6.99 a pound. And you do salad bar by the pound. We sure do. <sighs> You're like me, and you love a good salad. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I also I love, love a good salad. So I'm well rounded. Mm. Oh, my God, that looks so good. So there's that. So now that's the lemon curd in here too. Yeah. So I'm tasting the finished so That's the product. yellow stuff in there. Okay. And then you can also use mm. this as a base for the buttercream. Okay. I just incorporated it in. You could fold it in with whipped cream and make a mousse. That's awesome. Um, can you eat it right out of the... You sure can. It's <gasps> going to be hot, but... Hey, that's okay. The lemon's going to be there, so... Mmm. That's so good. Denine, gooseberry on the square. That was fun. I learned a lot today. Good, good. We got to go. That was fun. We'll be back with more restaurant show coming up after the break. Stick around.